It's Mia. I'm back. I am a lot more calm this week, and I'm going to do your Glee Project recap. So here we go. This week's theme was adaptability, and the homework assignment was "You Ought to Know" by Alanis Morissette. Did I say that right? The catch: they didn't get to choose their part in the song this week, and of course, Lily was the first one to be like, "Me, me, me. I am cool, and I need control of everything because I'm cool." The guest this week is Kevin McHale. He plays Artie on Glee, and I absolutely love him. He is the most adorable thing. One another catch. But when Kevin gets there, they decide to tell all of them that they each have to sing the song. Ouch. Eileen wins, and I actually have to give it to her. She was she was pretty good, so I was pretty happy with Kevin's choice. After the homework assignment, they find out that the song for the week, or the music video for the week, is... There's another catch. They actually don't find out the song until they get into the studio with Nikki, and then they don't learn choreo- uh? I need to do jaw exercises. And they won't learn the choreography until they're on set with Zach and Eric. That's pretty scary. Um, now that's adaptability. So finally they are in the studio and they find out that the song for the week is going to be Price Tag by Jesse J. The video is really cute this week, as they said in their words, like the poor kids, and then they were like the rich, snobby, stereotype kids, and they each have to like make the decision to not be so materialistic anymore, and to kind of like move over to the other side. They each take off their like fancy, smancy, regal outfits, and then they like convert to the other side, and then they're all like dancing, and they like strip off their like clothes. Not like strip, oh my god, I didn't mean it that way, I just mean like they Sexuality was last week. They they get into white t-shirts and then they're all like dancing. It looks very glee and then Eileen has her standout moment and she's like the last one over like by the cafe. She's like sipping on her latte. And then she's kinda like watching everyone dance and have fun. And then she like kinda like it's a little like background vocal thing, like whoa, whoa. She like finally joins in at the end, they're all hugging and it's cute. What's that? <gasps> Another catch! Bet you didn't see that one coming. There is no bottom three, there is a bottom six. And they do duets. First are Nellie and Blake, and they do um, Waiting on a Boy Slash Girl Like You, and it's actually very, very good. I know that term is kind of like overused, but when I say it's very good, I mean like it could have been ugly. Like it sounded perfect. Ali and Abraham are next, and they do Last Friday Night by Katy Perry. And it was awkward. Like really awkward. It was a face palm moment because I really like them and they're cute and it was tragic and I, I it's like that awkward moment when you're watching a really awkward moment and you feel actually more awkward than the person that the awkward moment is happening to the words are messed up and there was like it was just mm, mm, mm. Mario and Charlie are last and they do let the sun go down on me and it was it was a pretty basic performance it was average so after all the performances, Ryan Murphy, the writer, um, very big for Glee, um, he decides who the bottom three are. Allie, Nellie, and Blake are safe, and the bottom three are Mario, Charlie, and Abraham. Mario, unfortunately, goes home this week. Sad. So that's all for this week. I'll be back next week, and it'll be fun. So, um, yeah, I'll see you guys. Bye.